Folks, there is so much wrong with this case, uh, this whole story here. Um, not so much in the reporting of it. It's the whole situation itself was for, is just freaking insane. So Alec Baldwin scuffle with an anti-Israel agitator, crackhead Barney, which if you look into the uh, thumbnail of this video, that's what that woman looks like. I say woman loosely because she's definitely freaking nuts. Um, spilled onto the sidewalk outside a New York City coffee shop photo show. So Alec Baldwin's scuffle with a loudmouth anti-Israel agitator at New York City coffee shop spilled out onto the sidewalk. An irate Baldwin, 66, uh, was seen struggling with a woman out the front door and down the stoop of Maman, or Maman, I have no idea. It's an upscale cafe on University Palace, or place, sorry, on Greenwich Village. Um, after she had craw or accosted him inside the, on Monday, and demanded he declare free Palestine as she filmed him. Footage of the encounter, first posted online by the woman herself, cut off after Baldwin took a swipe at her phone, and new photos appear to show him snatching the phone from her hand and using it to drive her out of the coffee shop. Yeah, um... There are... From what I understand, certain states in which you are allowed to defend yourself from a harasser who is getting up in your face. Uh, but I do not think that New York is one of them. And that is a sad thing, by the way. But uh, why does she look like she's in her underwear? I mean, that looks like a bra and that looks like freaking boxer shorts underwear. And this woman is allowed to walk around New York City like that. Man alive. The scene from outside Maimon appeared to show the Emmy winner holding the woman's phone out of her reach as she scrabbled up his arms after it. They struggled down the stairs before the woman eventually got her hands on the device. An infuriated Baldwin then stormed off down the sidewalk, car, or coffee and car keys in hand. The agitator is identified as Crackhead Barney, a far-left activist who is known for ambush-style interviews and outrageous public performances. Well, I'd say, I mean, I think the police should at least frickin' cite her for indecent uh, exposure and shit. Or uh, lewd conduct or whatever. In her original video, Crackhead Barney approached Baldwin and asked him to say free Palestine as he talked on the phone and waited for his order. Alec, can you please say free Palestine one time, she asked. I'm not going to show the video because I will get copyright struck for it, folks. Um, media tend to be very uh, anal about that. So I'm going to have to read you essentially the transcripts. So she's like, can you please say it one time, free Palestine? And she also promises to leave him alone if he'll just say it once. As he headed for the door, shaking his head, she added, Fuck Israel, fuck Zionism. Oh, Jesus, man. Why did you kill that lady? There we go. And it's, or, this is insane, folks. You killed that lady and got no jail time. His trial hasn't even started yet. She had one, or she said at one point, referring to the death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins, who was killed on the set of Baldwin's movie Rust, when a gun, not a prop gun, an actual gun, he was shooting, wound up loaded with a live bullet. After Baldwin got crackhead Barney out of the restaurant, he deadbolted the door to keep her out footage she posted showed. She then asked about, or she then stalked about outside, talking to herself about how Baldwin had assaulted me, I should press charges, while calling random passerbys racist and Zionist bitches.
This woman is insane. My performance art and confrontational media is a statement about the double standards of society in the U.S. Oh my god. She said in a statement after the incident, as the U.S. supports Israel and the genocide of Palestinians, we do not, uh, here at home, powerful people maintain a facade of politeness and dignity while we export death and terror around the world. Um, you literally went in and accosted him and harassed him. What did you expect was going to happen? Amidst mass protests and public calls for an end to U.S. support of Israel, the entertainment industry has been largely silent, even worse, supportive or supportive of Israel's genocide. She's saying this. This is her words, folks. Um, this cannot stand, and people deserve to be confronted with the horrors our nation funds and supports. Crackhead Barney commands an audience of nearly 100,000 followers on Instagram. Her recent videos largely consist of her swearing at cops and telling pro-Israel demonstrators such things as, you know they're coming home, right? Or they're not coming home, right? Referring to hostages kidnapped by Hamas. Baldwin's run-in with Crackhead Barney was not the first time he's been targeted by anti-Israel demonstrators. In December, he was surrounded by protesters on the sidewalk who demanded to know whether he condemned Israel for their response to the Hamas uh, October 7th attack. He refused to address Israel and instead said, I support peace for Gaza. And a demonstrator yelled, go off yourself to him. So, people are, I have noticed that there have been some online public conservatives who are very public about this, or about their conserv or being conservative and whatnot. I myself am conserv conservative. I feel no pity for Alec in this situation. I do not think that he should have been accosted, but I do not pity him. That that man ended a life. She's right there. How she went about all of this is very inappropriate. How she ambushed him and accosted him and harassed him was inappropriate. However, I do not feel any pity for Alec Baldwin. And do you want to know why, folks? I have already discussed it. It is simp or it is very simple. The man is a sociopathic narcissist. As soon as he shot Helena Hutchins, he went outside, called his wife, and said, don't cancel the plans, or after explaining that he shot a woman, don't cancel the uh, flight plans. Fly over. We can't get our money back for that. And we're going to go out and have a, f or we're going to go out and enjoy ourselves. I'm sorry, but if I had just killed a person, chances are I would not be able to enjoy myself. No matter what or where I went. A person's life had been ended by my hands. I would most likely not be able to think of anything but that for the next couple days no matter how much I tried to take my mind off of it. And yet, this guy, moments after ending her life, went or <laughs> called his wife up and said, don't cancel your flight plans. We're going to go out and have a good time. The fuck is wrong with him? I'm sorry, folks, for the uh, F-bomb dropping and whatnot. But that is kind of disturbing and upsetting to know that somebody is very narcissistically sociopathic when or after they had just killed a person. Accident or no. Having that l or non-existent level of remorse, I'm hoping he gets the full 18 months if he is tr or when he has tried in June. Anyway, that is going to be my thoughts on this sort of situation. Um, it's absolutely nuts, folks. But yeah, uh, those are my thoughts. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Do you feel any sort of pity for Alec Baldwin or pity for this, uh, crackhead Barney, uh, thing? I honestly do not. And I do not think that, uh, I do not think that. There should be any sympathy. Anyway, folks...
Y'all let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. This has been Orchat. Y'all have a wonderful day, and always remember to stay humble.